everyone and welcome to Ballastair Press's YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the books that you should read based on your Chinese zodiac sign. If you don't know what your Chinese zodiac sign is, we'll leave a link in the description down below so you can figure out what it is and then you can watch this video to find out what book you should read. Starting with the year of the rat. Rats have been pervasive throughout all of human history, and such a trait lends itself well to the Chinese zodiac. People born in the year of the rat are flexible and quick-witted. They can adapt themselves to different circumstances and are cautious and attentive. If you're born in the year of the rat, you should read this book, More Than One Child by Shen Yang. The memoir tells the story of Shen Yang, who was born as an illegal child, the second daughter under China's one-child policy. It tells the story of her overcoming the limits of her upbringing and creating her own identity. The next Chinese zodiac is the ox. Oxes are tough despite their mild demeanor and people born in the year of the ox have very similar personality traits. They are diligent and persevering with an incredible work ethic. They have a strong sense of obligation, sometimes even bordering on stubbornness. If you're born in the year of the ox, you should read Wedding in Autumn by Shi Chong Yu. It is a collection of three novellas depicting the lives of nationalist soldiers. They are exiled after the Chinese Civil War in the 1940s and this book captures their strong will to survive. Tigers are the king of the forest, and people born in the year of the tiger have the same ferocious streak. They are natural leaders and full of ambition, along a very strong sense of courage and justice. If you're born in the year of the tiger, you should read Unrest by Young Kui Nyong. It details the lives of four leftist teenagers who are dedicated to overthrowing colonialism in the 1950s. Over time, their paths diverge into the shadowy cultural revolution. Rabbits are often associated with being tender and docile, a trait shared by those born in the year of the rabbit. They tend to be loyal and dedicated people as well as being kind-hearted. Because people born in the year of the rabbit are overly cautious and take on moderator roles, they may often feel the need for escapism. Night on the Milky Way Train by Kenji Miyazawa, dubbed as the Japanese Alice in Wonderland, is the perfect way to do so. It tells the story of two boys, Giovanni and Campanella, who find themselves on a miraculous train running through the heavens. Dragons are a very important part of Chinese culture and mythology, symbolizing strength and good luck. People born in the year of the dragon have a childish enthusiasm for their goals and ambitions. They are big dreamers and constantly seek adventure. If you are born in the year of the dragon, Bacon Steps by Stephen Tsai will pull you into a whole new world of adventure. This epic novel follows the new generation of leaders who must mend the broken alliances of their fathers, or else they must face destruction like they've never faced before. Snakes, despite the bad reputation they may get for being scary or sneaky, can also be beautiful and elegant creatures. People born in the year of the snake are alert, attentive, and graceful. They are often interested in high fashion and have an appreciation for classical art, as well as being concerned about their physical appearance which makes them highly attractive to others. If you're born in the year of the snake, you should read From Blank Canvas to Garment by Marella Campagna. It combines socio-anthropological reflections with narrative voice to relay the story of a fashion designer looking for her inner voice and true self. Horses in many cultures, from traditional Chinese to ancient Greek, are seen as fiery and fervent. People born in the year of the horse are cheery and talkative. They love expressing themselves in social situations and are very outspoken about their opinions. The Chili Bean Pace Clan by Yang Ge, filled with a formidable matriarch, family secrets, and intense sibling rivalry, is the perfect book to read if you're born in the year of the horse. The gripping novel that shows a fascinating glimpse into a dysfunctional family is sure to grab the attention of those born in this year. Sheep are often found in a herd, willing to be guided by others. People born in the year of the sheep are gentle and kind-hearted. In the right circumstances, their artistry and creativity shines, and they are always willing to help their family and friends. If you were born in the year of the sheep, you would definitely enjoy reading Exile or Pursuit by Chia Zhuming. It tells the story of Hok Leong, initially eager to follow along with a rough group of boys before meeting a new girl who has moved from Indonesia. This coming-of-age novel is filled with romance, friendship, and heart, a perfect tale for the warm and sympathetic sheep. <music> 
Monkeys are known for being very intelligent, and those born in the year of the monkey share that same trait. They usually do well in school and are very self-assured of their abilities. They are full of curiosity, adaptable, and can often be opportunistic, eager to enjoy an easy life full of new discoveries. If you're born in the year of the monkey, you should read The Pigeon Warrior by Zhang Tianyi. It is a hilarious satirical novel about a refugee in Shanghai, convinced that an elite martial artist with magical powers can save China. It follows his quest for a kung fu master who can teach him the secret techniques for becoming a warrior. Roosters crow before the rest of the world gets up, which leads to the Chinese superstition that they can predict the future. People born in the year are quick-witted and ambitious, characteristics that are easily helped by their ability to read people and gain insight into other people's perspectives. If you are born in the year of the rooster, you will enjoy following the investigation in Live by Roger Pulvers. It is a thrilling mystery novel that follows Liv Grimstad, a woman convinced that a man that she sees on the train is Donald Meisner, the man who tormented and persecuted people while working at the German embassy in Tokyo. She sets out on a mission to expose this man's secret and serve him the justice that he managed to escape after the war. Dogs are known for being man's best friend, and people born in the year of the dog share that same loyalty and friendliness. They have a strong sense of justice and righteousness and are usually very courageous people. If you are born in the year of the dog, you will delight in reading Crystal Wedding by Xu Xiaobing. It follows Yang Tianyi, a woman in a disastrous marriage. At the end of the 1980s in Tiananmen Square, she reunites with the one that got away, Hua Zheng, who is framed as one of the perpetrators in a political crime and is sent to prison. Pigs are surprisingly clever creatures that love to socialize. People born in the year of the pig are outgoing and are always surrounded by friends. They are easily trusting and romantic, which can make them gullible. They love luxurious things and if granted the opportunity, they love to indulge in opulence. This makes Love and Other Moods by Crystal Zedley the perfect book for anyone born in the year of the pig to enjoy. It is full of Shanghai's glitzy fashion shows, jazz clubs, and gourmet food, while simultaneously uncovering the difficulties in becoming an adult in an ever-changing world. We hope that you enjoy all of the books that we've recommended here today. Let us know in the comments below what book you think that you should read based on your Chinese zodiac sign. Thank you for watching.